hey dolls welcome back to my channel so today i'm installing some micro loops eye tip extensions for the first time so wild wig sent me three bundles of their kinky straight 18 inches and let me tell you if you are a natural sister like you have to get this texture because i feel like it will blend with so many textures once it's blowed out okay so for my client here my sister she is not completely natural she does perm her hair but she doesn't do it like where it's super duper straight so this does blend pretty well with her hair even though she is not natural anymore okay so what i love about this extension or this if you've ever seen micro links installed guys it's a tedious process so why wigs make it so much easier to install these eye tips because they give you the tool that you need um to make it easier so you see those white loops that is oh my god this is genius okay but before we get to that let's get into the leave out so here i'm gonna be telling you guys what i did right and what i did wrong so first of all what i'm doing wrong here is i should have left out way more hair when you're doing sew-ins like this is good enough for a sew-in but for eye tips you see how you have those little short hairs at the back like i should have left out a little bit more to where she had longer length so that it would cover the entire head nonetheless the install was came out very well however i'm going to be telling you guys what you should do and what you shouldn't do so now the leave out that i'm doing around the ears that is pretty good that's a good decent leave out so you guys can take notes from that part and as well as the front maybe i should have pushed back a little bit further but i wanted to i'm just this is my first time y'all i'm learning like y'all i had to sit down and watch some youtube videos myself so that i can learn so sometimes the teacher is the student you know what i'm saying like listen so i'm going around you know i'm braiding the leaves out out and i have to also pay attention to the little short hairs that she have at the front like you have to go flip it back go through part it that's what i'm doing i'm taking out her edges now so i can see okay is that gonna be enough hair to cover it you know what i'm saying but for this type of extension you really can leave out a lot more than i did so if you're gonna be following this video out one of my recommendations is to leave out a little bit more hair than i did so that it covers a little bit better however i am very proud of my first installation so please watch till the end because like i said i'm i'm teaching i'm learning but yeah just just listen to what i'm saying okay i'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons okay so i got the leave out of the way so now i'm doing the it's, she's just gonna get a center part nothing fancy she's very simple she just want a ponytail or if she has it out she wants a center part so i went ahead and did that see that little leave out that i did uh-uh it gets bigger at the end because that was not enough so while i was doing it i had to leave out a little bit more than that so like i said when you're doing eye tip extensions i will highly recommend leaving out a lot more especially if they have some length to their own hair and it will cover and like i said the, it's the kinky straight 18 inches so it's not a big length different from her own hair so really it's not gonna look bad if i had left out a little bit more around the perimeter all right so let's get to the installation guys so for this installation you want to go in a smiling direction and you want to kind of make the parts really small because if you have too much hair going through that loop it will not fit in which you guys are going to see soon for some of them it just wouldn't fit so always part in a smile so from ear to ear you want to go like uh what do you call that Ooh, concave type smile okay you, you guys get it it's it cur it curves okay so for the first one this is what i'm talking about guys so i've i've watched eye tip extensions and they have to put all the little tips or on some string or something and, and i'm sure it takes a long because this install took me about four and a half hours so i'm sure when they're doing it uh the 
original way it takes them way longer but wild wigs made it super easy so they already come with the loops all i have to do is stick the hair through that loop and pull it through and clamp it and that's it so if you've never seen how they do it originally you can go ahead and look at that but I, it's so much more tedious you have to do a lot more work and this just makes it so much easier so one of my advice for eye tips what I've learned from watching my other YouTube videos is to never put it too close to the scalp because it will hurt your client when they try to uh, pull it up you see how I just flipped it up like that okay so if it was too close to her scalp then I wouldn't be able to move it that easy and it would hurt her because remember you're clamping it onto her natural hair so any little strand that is clamped on too tight or it's too close to the scalp is going to hurt okay so please once you put it on there you want to scoot it back some and don't feel bad if it's you feel like it's hanging off too much trust me I mean, don't put it all the way down now. To, you just need it a little bit away from the scalp so that when you flip it, it doesn't hurt your client. So I'm not telling you to put it all the way to the end of their hair. You're still trying to cover it. However, just go ahead and put it on there. Push it down some. And like, just use some reasoning with it when you're doing it. Okay? So... Every now and then I'm going to pause and let you guys watch, you know, and then I'll come in at any teaching moment to show you guys what I am doing to educate you guys on what I learned, the pros and the cons of this install. Like I said before, it took me four and a half hours. I really thought it would have been faster, but again, this is my first time. Secondly, I can't even imagine if I was to do it the original way because this way, uh, the way they looped it um provided the hair with those little loop helps so much right so for this guys when i say don't put too much hair in it that's what i meant the thing just broke off so because i'm trying to stuff too much hair into that loop and what i should have did was just took it out but me i don't give up so i'm gonna get that hair through the loop and you also always want to ask your client like does it hurt does it hurt so i didn't let the string get loose on me because i still needed a string to pull the hair through but always ask your client like is it hurting so if it is hurting you want to pull out you want to quit and start over because you do not want to put your client through pain when doing these so I'm tugging on them a little bit to see like, okay, are they too loose? Are they going to come down? They are not too loose. And um, I'm using professional pliers for this type of extension. I heard there's a different type of pliers to use. However, these pliers work just the same. So I did get the pliers from the hair store, not from like Lowe's or Home Depot, but I got it from the hair store. It is for eye tip extension. So go ahead and get the proper tools that you need to for this install so as i'm going i'm just gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and each line that i get i continue to make that curving smiling part and i try to make it as thin as possible and i try not to put too much hair into the loop so that um it will like go through the loop also you don't want to have too little hair in the loop because then it's just gonna slide off so it's there's this perfect amount that you need to get so once you get started on doing this guys like you'll see you'll feel it just use great judgment on how to install these there are some lessons I learned further in the video so I do recommend you continue to watch if you want to know like the pros and cons of this install because there are some bumps in the road that i come across that i'm going to correct and let you guys know what i did to correct it So here I am attempting to make it a faster process by just putting the loops through and then going back later 
and clamping them on so this is what i'm doing and i did end up doing it a few times throughout this install because i do feel like it was faster but you just have to make sure you have enough hair in the loop so that while you leave it behind without clamping it it doesn't just fall off so for the first one that i did in this line of row you're gonna see that it just fell off there like i just i didn't even notice it until i saw it on the ground until i went back to clamp it on i saw that it was missing <laughs> so i just throughout the install like it just fell so i just ended up putting one more on there so like i said you can do that it does make it a little bit faster but just make sure you have enough hair in that loop so that while you're going through the process they're not like falling off Okay guys, so here I'm gonna show you guys how to unclamp it. So this one loosened some because like I said, not enough hair in it. However, um, I can't take hair from no anywhere else because like that was the final, that was in between everything I've already continued on. So it started to slide off because I didn't clamp it down further enough. So the uh, pliers that I have does come to where I can place it into the pliers and on unloosen it and then i pushed it back up and clamped it on a little bit harder so this is an example of not having enough hair in the loop and it's sliding down throughout the process so you just want to make sure when you do do that that you go back in and you make sure you clamp it on as tight as you can so the pliers does help with taking it apart and putting it back on so for here the lesson that I learned throughout this process was that it's uh, it's tedious when the hair is natural and that's why I see most stylists they do flat iron the hair before doing eye tips so I did go in midway through and I kind of straightened her roots some because this made it so much easier for the hair to fit in the loop as well as a smoother process when I'm like pushing it up towards her scalp. They're not like bungling up because you know her natural hair is curly. So they were doing too much. So when I straightened it, I got so much better results than when I just had her natural roots out. So I do recommend uh, straightening the hair prior to, especially if you know you're going to straighten the extensions themselves, which I ended up doing at the end. So I went in and I kind of took my um, hot comb and I just sprayed some heat protectant on her hair and I went in and I straightened her roots for her. And now they're going through so much smoother. I can fit a lot more hair through that loop because now it's straighter and I guess feels less dense when it's straight. So that helped tremendously so there's one lesson that you guys can take and this guys is just one bundle like i'm so like they sent me three bundles they told me usually you only need two bundles and i'm already like more than halfway through and that is one bundle that i use so i had two bundles left so at the end of this install i ended up using almost a full two bundles so i did not use three so if you guys decide to order this to use it i highly recommend and just buying two bundles because especially if you have nice thick hair yourself or the client that you're doing it on has nice thick hair I do just recommend just getting two bundles you don't have to stretch it to um, three bundles so because it was really full it was really thick and once I completed a style I unraveled her um, perimeter and as you can see I don't know if you can see but I did not um I did make the middle part section a little bit bigger so it was enough hair out to cover but I would have left a little bit more out because it sometimes it shows the eye tips a little bit like she she can definitely get away with it however I just wish I did leave out a little bit more and the way to correct that is just taking out a row like honestly like we couldn't be bothered to take it out because I know she's not going to wear this for a long time. However, like if you feel like you didn't leave out enough, 
just take out a row like it's super easy to take out just unclamp it pull it out and take it out so now i'm straightening the hair and like i said this extension is from y wig extension so it straightens very well like if she had natural hair and she just wanted to throw it up without straightening it that would have looked awesome too because it gives a nice blowout effect for this kinky straight hair however when i did flat iron it it looks really good and then when i did curl it it kept the curls really well so i did really love this and I always be jealous of my clients because I wish somebody would do my hair like I really like this extension and you know I've always wanted eye tips and you know I gotta be the one to do it because I either can't find people or like I don't know I just don't be having time for my own hair so I just make other people look pretty let's just say that okay so when I'm trying to flip it up I did you know it did does look good but I didn't end up putting in the ponytail like everybody be doing and showing out and all that stuff so here, here is the final results guys my sister looks absolutely gorgeous hair looks absolutely beautiful like she definitely loved it she was surprised you know it looks so good it matches so well with her natural hair and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you love the results please give me your tips about this install thank you